Um, somebody yes, asked if uh, there will be any remnants of the old tribunal in the new north. Depends what they mean by remnants. <laughs> um, we have some statues and murals and things. Hmm. Um, yeah, so we we have um we have also some more like sacrilegious and uh, uh, older religious texts that refer to the tribunal in a lot more praise than the current temple is is comfortable with. The, the current temple is quite uh, revisionist in the way it approaches the tribunal, so uh, most religious texts from the sec- from the second and third era have been revised and partially rewritten to kind of reflect a, uh, uh, a tribunal that fits their narrative a lot more. So, for example, the, uh, you know, the, a, um, a, the 36 lessons of Vivek, for example, were, you know, partially rewritten. And um, you can find the original copies and they are not legal to actually possess. Uh, in, in Looks like we found some rivers here, too. Yeah. Yeah, these are um, Uakam Tong, the uh, Dunmer faction of reavers that we've got. Uh, They've got some. They've got some kind of unique uh, attacks and effects that they, they can do. Uh, the one in the back is shooting these little fire bolts at you, for example. Uh, that was a that was a new effect that we made. Yeah, we we want we want the bandits in Morrowind to feel more, you know. Uh, oh, I remember seeing this outfit. Interesting. Um, yeah. The uh, is that the dust adept? Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Um, a, a similar, I mean, another question that I saw in the chat was um, there was mention in Solstheim time of House Sadras taking over as one of the great houses. Do you have any uh, lore you guys are playing with uh, with them? Uh, yeah. Uh, so Sadras, Sadras, uh, at least in our lore, uh, was a previously a, uh, a Halalu vassal house. So a minor house underneath the great house Halalu. And then when uh, the rest of Morrowind decided that Hlalu had transgressed enough, uh, Sadrus was promoted to fill the position of the Great House, and the balance of power shifted from Narsus to Kragonmore, um, because Kragonmore is the ancestral city of House Sadrus, uh, whereas Narsus is the ancestral city of House Hlalu. Uh, there are still some, uh, some more like kind of underground uh, Hlalu dissidents, but uh, House Sadrus is has has done a pretty good job of, of filling the role uh, overall. Awesome. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here's one rel- related to the bandits that we just fought a little bit ago. Uh, will you be able to learn the different uh, the new spells you guys are making, and will be able to, the player be able to use them? That's a good question. Um, I'm yeah, not... some of yeah. them at least eventually. Yeah. Uh, they're a very new addition, those new spells, yeah. so that sort of question we still need to answer for ourselves. Yeah. But, yeah. It'll require a bit of testing. Yeah. Especially, uh, yeah, like, I'm sure you can tell that uh, we, we're not quite at the uh, the balancing phase yet where we kind of level everything and make sure all that is appropriate yet. But overall, yeah. What about... So this uh, is a, a, oh, oh you, sorry, you, you go on. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm rather be about the <laughs> paper in right now. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. So this is a, a former sixth house lair, which is what you can see attacking. So uh, uh, I think they are they they are they ghouls. I think that's what they're, they're uh, ash zombies. Yeah. Ash skeletons. zombies. That's the one. Yeah. Ash, it says the it there. That, <laughs> it does. The ones it that have the there. little the little yeah, weird yeah. like thing coming out of their forehead the little, the little in Morrowind. Yeah. They're now skeletons uh, that are just undead. Yeah, so uh, the sixth health doesn't really factor into Morrowind anymore. Uh, I think we I think that story has been well told and well trodden. But we 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 it's good to have a couple little mobs like this here and there. Yeah, this is probably the most sort of uh, you'll see is just little remnants it, it, here and there in the underground places. Yeah. Um, our, one of our level designers, Kothri, did a really great job with this, uh, with this, with this cave here. It's, it's, uh, really, really good level design. Like, uh, uh, I'm very proud of, 
of uh, is this a new tile set or this is this is the uh, the vanilla cave with a retexture uh, oh, wow. and stalagmites, but like uh, it's 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 uh it's interesting because it feels like a new tile set because it's just so different to the base game. We stripped really out definitely. all of the shiny green vertex painting in uh. In the, in the vanilla game and made them just grey rock with some sand floors here and I think it I think it works uh, a uh, perceptive viewer noticed the chairs in this place <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah I think those were just kind That's of things going on there. <laughs> they're just kind of I think they were just stacked like that to give them a cool silhouette and like I guess the idea is that you know they used to have like little little meetings of 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 cult personnel and you know someone nicely stacked the chairs when they were done and they just have remained that way ever since. I, I, I like I really like that as an explanation for why those random <laughs> stacks of chairs in six house caves in uh in okay. That's great. <laughs> I mean if you've got you've got a bunch of cultists together you need to give them a place to sit and be comfortable while you're oh, you know great. plotting yeah. the destruction of the world. Do you think everyone has to carry their chair back and stack it up at the end of the Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. Or or the the person who arrived late would have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a question. Is uh, I assume we're getting a little close to leaving the cave. Is Varnfell a wasteland, an absolute wasteland? If so, would uh, is there any like um, survival mechanics you guys are implementing in regards to it being largely uninhabitable? Uh, when we get around to the main release, I imagine yes, we will probably uh, do some uh, play with survival mechanics on on Varnfell. I think that'd that'd add a lot to somewhere that otherwise doesn't have a lot going for it. Uh, it'll have locations, but it it's not going to be really inhabited. Uh, and that that's also a deliberate uh, thematic decision as well. You know, uh, Vardenfell's been well-trodden, and I think it's time that, you know, we explore what else Morrowind has to offer. I, I will also note um, the map markers, uh, they, they are new and they look pretty good. But they weren't. I didn't implement them properly, so I apologize for the the weird ghosty buggy uh, two marker up there. I don't know why it's light gray like that. Anyway, that's a side note. It looked regar good regardless. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple people asked about. Uh, this is a bit far from the New North, but about the uh, House Drez and the war with the Argonians. Uh, what's the state of that in modern Morrowind? Um, Those two, I guess. It's kind of a, a stalemate at the moment. Um, House Dres has been pushed out of most of its original territory, and um, the and the, the the border is occupied by an Argonian faction called the Lagahui, that have uh, just been staying there for the last couple of hundred years. They've successfully colonized a very small strip of land on in southern Morrowind, uh, and have taken over the city of Tyr and uh, a couple of other Dres settlements and driven. House Drez up to the border of Indoril territory. Mm. Um, yeah. So, not great for Drez, but it's not like they're going to get much further, the Argonians. Yeah, so uh, you guys here, almost here have a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got Dwemer. one of our new Dwemer ruins up here. Yes, uh, this, yes. this whole set is quite new, and uh, we're very excited about it. Larry Larian did a very good job on it. <laughs> Oh, very Thank picturesque. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of work, I'll say, to get the Dwemer, Dwemer tiles. I can't even imagine. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy with the, the the direction we've gone in with with the Dwemer, the Dwemer set. I think it's a really a really nice kind of fusion of the of the, the more modern geometric Dwemer style and the the old PS3 weird weird Just execution like industrial yeah. kind of yeah. Heavy style yeah yeah so we're nearly on we're nearly at dagon cell now oh happy birthday florin uh, aslan <laughs> and uh in the chat and uh, also um a common question i see is uh what level of kind of uh what what how do i put this from souls time what kind of things are transitioning or are you guys carrying over from souls time from like reeklings or uh nyx hounds uh, will you be able to swim there? Things like that. Uh, you can't swim there. It's in the distance in LOD. Maybe we'll have a like a 
maybe we'll figure out a way, but probably you won't be able to spin there. I'd give that like a, a 5% chance of that being able to happen. Mm. Uh, uh, I love the Kofi and Walk uh, on range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this, is, this is a representation of the, uh, the cultural and racial tension that's going on in Dagenfell. Uh, and the recent Redoran colon- uh, colonization of the town as well, with the big kind of uh, fortress. Uh, we have these posters as well posters. made by Dia. She did a great yeah. job on those too. <laughs> it, um, yeah, so it's 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 definitely... We, we tried to make both Dagenfell and Balsama feel very much kind of a, a colonial vibe. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we, I guess we're heading to Roskrea now, but... Thank you everyone ah. for uh, for tuning in to have a look at Morrowind. Uh, we appreciate thank you guys for your... coming along yeah. to describe the place thank to you, us. Thank you, thank you, for uh, for for guiding us with some questions as well. That was appreciated. Absolutely, uh, my pleasure. But yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, everyone, thank Thanks you for great. thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed what you see. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we'll just see. uh, you know, stay tuned yeah. for more exciting stuff from yeah. Morrowind in the future.